Hello, my name is Beth and welcome to Books with Beth and I thought that because some of you won't be at school this week you might be missing out on reading some of your favourite books so I thought that instead we could read some of my favourite books and if you would like to you can follow along and listen, join in um, and just yeah just see how it, how it goes and I'll set some different activities at the end of reading a book that you might like to do um, yeah I just hope that you enjoy being here as much as I'm going to enjoy reading these stories and um, a little bit about me I live in Edinburgh in Scotland I've lived in now for nearly two years I am a trained special needs teacher um, and this if you are wondering which I'm sure you all are this is Tony Tiger let's get reading. This is the first book that Tony has picked for us to read and this book is called Dangerous. Mm. I know Tony, I know. It's by a man called Tim Warns and Tim Warns is a writer and he's an illustrator. He's from London and he now lives in Dorset in the countryside that is in southwest of England if you didn't know where it is. And apparently he enjoys playing the banjo and wearing fancy hats. Don't we all, Tim? Don't we all? It's a nice book. It's a square book. It's a good shaped book to fit on your bookshelf. And Tony, why have you picked this book for us to read? Ah, he likes this. He likes the sharp teeth. Tony said he's got sharp teeth as well because he's a tiger. So he thinks that they have something in common. But you're not dangerous, are you, Tony? No, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. He's a softy. Shall we start? Some nice stickers in this book. You might get a sticker, Tony, at the end. If you do some good listening. Oh, a tail. And then we've got the, the title again, Dangerous. Shall we get going? Mole loved labelling things. Now where is Mole? And who is Mole, Tony? Let's have a look. Oh, I can't see him on that page. <gasps> there he is. He's wearing a red and white striped vest. He's got a little pink nose and he's grey and in his hand he's got a blue pencil and some labels. And more loved labelling. All sorts of things. Anything really. Naming things was what more liked best. Now if you had a label on you Tony, what would you say? I think it would say stripey. It would say Tony, because that's your name. Maybe it would say Grizzly, because tigers are grizzly. Now let's see and have a look at what Mole has labelled. Ladybird. Yeah, we like ladybirds, don't we, Tony? Pycons. Toadstools. Frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Pebble. Feather. <gasps> I like this one, Tony. This one might be my favourite. Caterpillar. Rum tone, chilly tone. And he's very, very happy, isn't he, Tony? He's having a great time wandering around and doing his labels. He's writing them very, very neatly. Be very careful to stick them on. One day, Mole. Who is Mole again? Oh, there he is. Found something unusual on the path. What is this strange thing? He wondered. Hmm, he's having a think. He's having a really good think. Hmm, hmm. He poked it gently. Then he stuck a label on it. And another bumpy. I 
wonder what it is, Tony. <gasps> and then a few more. So he's not just got two labels on like he had them before. He's got lots and lots and lots of labels. He's got mossy, huge, splodgy, chunky, muddy, tough, scaly, speckled. Eh? Can you see any Tony? Well, that's a good one, Tony. Gigantic. That's a really big word. That's a gigantic word. Strange. Pine cone, eh? We saw pine cones before, didn't we? Sharp. Oh, what things are sharp, Tony? Have you got sharp teeth? Green. You can see that he's green. No, Tony, you're not green. You're orange and black. Spotty. No, you're not spotty either, Tony. You're stripy. Unusual, peculiar. Hmm. I wonder what it is. And Mole is wondering as well. And how do we know that he's wondering? He's put a, a question mark label because Mole doesn't know. Shall we count the labels, Tony? I think we should. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-six labels. Oh, that is a lot more than two labels, Tony. But Mole still didn't know what it was. Suddenly, oh my goodness, Tony, I don't think you want to look. You might be a bit scared at this. Mm, you feeling brave? Okay, let's look. We'll look together. The enormous lumpy bumpy thing gave a big stretch and yawned a terrifying yawn <gasps> lumpy long bulgy dodgy rough sharp stripy <gasps> don't eat me squeaked mole as he dived for cover oh dear what do you think mole's feeling tony do you think he's still feeling happy like he did at the beginning of the book no, I don't think so either. I think he's feeling a bit scared and a bit worried. What's he gonna do? Oh, he's okay. Let's find out. <gasps> but the lumpy bumpy thing just rolled over and went back to sleep. No, he's not bothered about the mole, Tony. He's really not bothered. Look, you can see him fast asleep. <sighs> I wonder what he's dreaming about. Maybe he's dreaming about the mole. And look, he's still got all of Mole's labels stuck all over him. He's got very neat handwriting that mole, doesn't he? He's doing very well. Let's find out what he's gonna do next. Mole peered out from the bushes. That thing looks dangerous whispered. Somebody might get hurt. He scribbled out another label. Then he crept, all so carefully, over to the sleeping beast. But Mole wasn't quiet enough. Mole wasn't quick enough. The lumpy bumpy thing licked its long scaly lips, flashed its snippy snappy teeth and... I know Tony I'm feeling a bit scared too. I don't know what he's gonna do. <gasps> Schlub! Chum, 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 chum. Gobbled up 
all the labels. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. Stop that, cried Maul. You can't eat them. He's having a good time, isn't he? I don't think he's bothered about them all. <gasps> and he stopped off with a hoof. But wherever Mole went, the lumpy bumpy thing went too. Do you think he's going to try and eat him, Tony? Don't know. I think he'd have eaten him by now if he was going to eat him. He's just following him. I wonder what he wants. Mole's not very happy. It wanted to play. No, thank you, said Maul. That's a bit sad, isn't it, Tony? He just wants to play with him. He just wants to be his friend. He's even brought him some flowers. I know I think I want to play with him as well. He's been very kind. Boo! I thought Maul was wonderful. It's nice to have fun with our friends, isn't it, Tony? Oh, that's not very nice, Mole. Go away. Oh, we don't talk to people like that, do we, Tony? No. Mole is very happy, though. Mole did not feel the same way at all. And the lumpy bumpy thing was still gobbling labels. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Burp. Does it? yelled Mole. You're a slurp, burpy, lumpy, bumpy, greedy, naughty thing. The lumpy, bumpy thing sniffled quietly. A great big tear rolled down its cheek. Oh, this is so sad, Tony. Would you feel sad if somebody shouted at you like that? Somebody you thought was your friend? I think I would too. Poor, poor Mole. And another tear. And then a few more. What is Mole going to do now? How is he going to cheer him up, Tony? Mole squirmed and looked at the ground. The lumpy bumpy thing stuck a label to its tummy. Sorry. I'm sorry too, said Mole. There was a bit of an awkward silence. Then he scribbled down a brand new word. I wonder what it's going to say. friend. And look, Mole's happy. And the lumpy bumpy thing is happy. Oh look Tony, that's them walking off together. They're going on a brand new adventure. And the lumpy bumpy thing is very happy. And the Mole is very happy. And he's still doing his labels. And let's look at these ones now. We've got kind, friendly, Funny, unique, persistent, safe, harmless, loyal, smiley, generous, forgiving, beautiful, determined, precious. Those are really nice descriptive words to describe your friend, aren't they, Tony? I really, really like those. If somebody described me with those, those words, Tony, I would be so happy because they're such nice things to me. They really, really are. What a nice book. So, I wonder what things we could do now with this book at home. I think there's lots of things you could do. So, like Mole, where is it? There he is. You could go around your house, get some labels, get a pencil. You could make your own labels of different things around the house. Maybe you could find your favourite things, you could make different lists, you could have your favourite things, you could have unusual things. 
They have things that mommy likes, things that daddy likes. They have all different things. Things you use at breakfast, things you use at tea time. It's a nice little snail. You can have a look outside. What things would you label outside in the garden maybe? You could think of words for yourself. You could think of words for your friends, for your family, for your pets, if you've got any dogs, any cats, any parrots. You could practice your handwriting and practice your letters. And you don't have to do it on paper either. I always like to do it in the air. You could do mm, oh. You could look for words that all start with the same letter. So if your name begins with an F, you could make a list of all the different words beginning with F that you think you might be. You could make your own crocodile teeth out of cardboard and paper, and you can go around and pretend to be eating up all the labels. You could think of different words that you might use to describe the lumpy bumpy thing. Can you think of any? Can you think of three and write them down? You could write a different ending to the story. You could look at the back page and think, I wonder where Mo and the lumpy bumpy thing are going next. Where might they go? What might they see? How might they use the labels then? Maybe they'll go to the beach. They might go to a forest. They might climb a mountain. They might go to a jungle. You can get all different pictures and videos up and have a look and draw some nice pictures and draw up the mole and the lumpy bumpy thing in the different scenes and describe all the different things that you can see. Think about all your different senses, what you might hear, what you might smell like, what it might feel like, all the different things you can do. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you really enjoyed watching it as much as we enjoyed reading it together and, and I'll see you for my next video.